In this video, I want to show you something that you can make your video marketing really go over the top. And this is going to show you how to add a clickable link directly onto your videos. Anywhere on your videos, uh, for any duration of time you want on your videos, and it can be at the very beginning, in the middle, at the end, for the entire duration, however you want to do it. And it can be not only a text link that's clickable, but an image as well. For example, you've got an image of a buy now button or a PayPal button. Is the imagination juices flowing yet? And you've got that clickable link right there on your video. And you've got a verbal call to action, let's say, in the video saying, in a second, you're going to see a button appear on your video. And just click on that, and it will take you directly to the checkout page or the squeeze page. You just enter your name and email address. And between the actual visual call to action, that being that of the button appearing, and the verbal call to action, that being you on the video saying what to do when that button shows up, the two combined is a very powerful tool in your video marketing. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Click on play and this is just a snippet of a video that I've got. You can see it's playing right along here and then all of a sudden BAM! There you go! And that just appears anyway. And you can have whatever your button is going to be. Whether it's this, you've got a specific button for this particular product, or it says subscribe now, click me, you know, whatever, however. I'll show you how to put your button on your video. But let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is clickable. And just as an example, I've got it going to the PayPal website. You can have it going to a PayPal checkout page, to a shopping cart, like I said, just about anywhere you so desire that's got a URL, you can have it go there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Head on over to your Camtasia Studio. Now, I'm using Camtasia Studio version 5, and in version 5, you only have the ability to use two formats of Flash. Now, I might want to explain myself here. By the way, let me back up. By the way, this particular tool will only work in Flash. In other words, a clickable link on your video, if it's an AVI, won't work. MOV won't work. WMV won't work. Anything other than Flash, that being SWF, FLV, or MP4, it will not work. So version 5, you only have the SWF and the FLV to choose from. The version 6.0.3 has all three, MP4, FLV, SWF. Why am I not using version 6? Well, because version 6 really sucks up the resources while I'm making videos. So in order to make a better, smoother looking video, I'm using uh, version 5. That it's enough of that. So let's go ahead. We've got our video in here that we're going to uh, add the button to. I've already pulled it into the timeline down here and the button we've already got it created or set aside or however you want to do it but you got your video and you got your button. Now let's bring the button into the picture. Let's head on over to the call out function. Left click on that. Click on the plus sign here and what we're looking for here is the custom call outs and you want to come on up here to new custom call out left click on that button navigate to the location within your computer where your button is going to be and there you go and what I do is I use a transparent background which is going to make it a PNG button or a PNG image and I try to make my buttons generic one like by me rather than by XYZ product that way this particular button can be used on multiple videos uh, totally up to you you want to make your own button directly related to that particular product that'll look even better but you know like I said I'm kinda lazy and I'd like to be one and done so however you want to do that but it has to be well it doesn't have to be but if it were not transparent if it were a JPG for example uh, image format then you're gonna have a white box slapped right on your uh, video now if your background is a plain white background then no big deal not very often would I want myself to have a plain white background that's just me but anyway that being said transparent generic and now once we brought it in let's give this guy a name for lack of imagination I'm gonna go with something like buy now button and you've got a few other options down here you can play with but we're not gonna mess with that click on OK and we're good now let's bring that button into play here custom call out choose the button we want and come on down here you've got a few other options you can play with here you can fade in which I prefer fade out yeah not this is just a personal preference but the thing is though is down here if you left click on your mouse you can drag this wherever you want and you can when you get the arrows here on the end left click hold and drag and make it 
show or go away whenever you want. So right now it's going to start right about looks like about the 10 second mark of the video and it's going to play all the way through to about the 45 second mark of the video. And this is only a minute long video so again just to let you know. So you can have it go for as long as you want, appear wherever you want, just to let you know that's how you do that. Now then, the key thing to all this is this guy right here, that's the magic. You gotta check that box, click on this, and by default, because I've been tinkering with this, by default this is going to be checked. You don't want that. So to untick that, you have to first tick this radio button here, jump to URL, and then untick that box. Now let's go ahead and clear this out. And you want to, in place of that, you want to put the URL that you want your people to go to, whether it's uh, the URL to the squeeze page, the URL to your shopping cart, the URL to your PayPal button. Now wait a minute, PayPal buttons are forms, aren't they? Not necessarily, they are, but there's other options. Well, let me show you. I'll log into my PayPal page. Now let's assume you've already gone through the process of creating your button and you got to the final stage here. Here is the default setup, your PayPal form code that you slap onto your web page, but you got this option too, the email. That's what we're looking for, because this is the URL that will take your viewers of the video directly to the checkout page of this particular button that you made. So yeah, first you gotta create the button, and when you get to that final stage, you're here, you just click on the email rather than the website. Highlight, copy, Come on back here to our Camtasia Studio and paste it right on in there. Now I always tick this here, just personal preference. I'd rather them go to a an additional browser window. That way the original browser window or tab is still intact. Click on OK. Come on up here. Click on Finish. And we are done. Let's go ahead and render this bad boy. Remember, you got to do it in Flash, and I'm in version 5, so I only have the FLV and the SWF to choose from. I'm going to go with the SWF. I believe I've already got that set. Yep. And come on up here, click on Next, give it a name. And location on the desktop, keep it in its own little folder. Click on Next. Here are the settings I've got for this particular SWF format. You're welcome to copy them. And then click on Finish. And through the magic of video, this will only take a second. And that's finished. So let's, we're, we're pretty well done with these guys. Get this out of the way. And we're done with that guy. Get that out of the way. And let's open up another tab so we can bring in this video. Open this up. Here's the files from that video. Click, hold, and drag this into our browser. Get this guy out of the way. Click on Play. And it's playing. There we are. And any second now, any second now, there we go. And this is the video that, or the uh, button we just made. Now if we click on this, it should take us to the checkout page, not just to the site. There we are. How cool is that? And that's how you do it. That's how you add a clickable link, and in this case, a buy now button directly to your video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this gets those imagination juices flowing. Have a great day.